get it all done video which will have a little bit of everything in there I'm gonna have a little haul in here for the kids I did order some clothes for them from kid picks um, I've been eyeing them for a while on different ads so I decided to order that for them and it is a um, subscription package which they send clothes and they send shoes and all those type of things and accessories and I believe it's four weeks six weeks and 12 weeks you could subscribe to you can also skip you know months when you don't want to receive anything and they have them for boys and girls, I think up to size 16, if I believe, if I remember correctly. But I'm going to show you guys um, what's in their boxes. I'll show you a little snippet of when the box first came and Mason wanted to open it, but <laughs> it was too cute. He's like, oh, this is for me. He's happy to get packages and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys that. And I'm going to, um, after that, I'll show you guys actually what was in the box on um, me right now going through it because I am going to decide if I'm going to keep everything or if I'm going to send it back. And I need to get over to UPS to drop off another package. So I'll be dropping that off as well. And I just hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day while you're watching this. I hope you're in good health, good spirits, and all that good stuff. Sorry about the lighting. I am in Mason's room. If you didn't see my last video, I did upload his bedroom makeover. So if you didn't see that, make sure you check it out. And I will leave that up in the description box so you guys can see that. And yeah, this video is just going to basically be um, me getting some things done. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be tackling. I'm a busy mom. I just finished work and we're going into the weekend and we'll just see what I can do. It's always something to do around here. So I'll just decide what I'm going to be picking up and tidying. I'm definitely going to be tackling some laundry. I'm definitely going to be tackling some cleaning, just what areas I'm not sure yet. And I also will be making um, some pancakes for the kids. They requested pancakes again. So I'm going to batch up some pancakes to put in the freezer and also in the fridge to make it easier. I do buy sometimes the um, pre-made pancakes that you just pop in the microwave but they've been loving the homemade so mom's gonna take care of that so let me just show you guys what's in their box right now so we just got mason's box for kid pick i saw it and i wanted to get him something i got one for zoe as well waiting for it to come and he could not wait to open it i was trying to look it's all personalized look it has your name there this is mason's style especially for mason hope you like everything right yeah right let's see you like so this is this is the box mom always like comment down on my channel if you want to see my box. Comment down on the channel if they say it again. Look at me. Comment down you see all my box. Comment down on the channel if you want to see the box. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh -oh. see what you got oh my god. See those for me? Yes. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I'm back up yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see him. Okay, so they sent you some okay. shoes. Okay, so yeah, the box comes personalized. This is from Mason. And I didn't get Sanaya anything. I probably will, but I'm not sure yet. Um, with her, for me, it's kind of hard because um, she does not walk. So I prefer to use certain things. I like to get like tights and things like that on her, like stretchy bottoms. So it all depends on what they'll send. But I may get one for her just to see what they'll, you know, send me. But this is Mason's show you guys this cute little scully and then he actually did try on these shoes i just put everything back in the box so they could be neat just in case i wasn't going to keep it i wasn't sure but these are the shoes and i mean they're kids they grow out of things fast so i think for it being a kid subscription box i think it's very cool and it's good material it's not bad you know so yeah, Mason, I think I got him five, what size is this? This is extra small, but like five, six. So this is a shirt, and then he has this shirt also, long sleeves, which is cute. I mean, I'm in Florida. It has been getting cool here, and 
I think it would be cute for him to wear. He can pair this t-shirt under here opened up or by itself. So I think it's, you know, it would be cute to wear. And then he got these jeans, which are really cool. And these definitely are probably too big for him. But if I kept them, that would be good because he can grow into them. So that's not bad. And then also got this outfit here. Like a little sw short sweatsuit. So I think that's cool. And that's what Mason got. So I decide what I'm going to keep. If I'm going to keep anything at all. I'm going to send it back. And they do give you a prepaid slip. As I said, I'm going to choose what I want to keep. Or send back and then head over to UPS real quick. And this is Zoe's. She also looked at her stuff too. And it's cool material and stuff. I mean, it's cute. You know, your kids have something to look forward to. They should be able to feel special as well. So, rhinestone shirt. But she's growing so fast and super slim. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. She may grow out of that real quick. But these, I know these shoes fit her. And she liked those. But I definitely like this dress that I saw in the box too. And these jeans are really dope as well. And they gave her and her box this time. She got an accessory. Which is this cute little bracelet that says love on it. And then this dress and this jean jacket she's definitely keeping. Because I could definitely picture her that in this right here. So this is cute. And then Mason's calling me. I'm in your room. And this is the jean jacket that she got. So yeah. So yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to, um, my nose is red. I was doing a deep clean of my face last night digging out these bite heads so if my nose looking kind of like Rudolph that's why but I'm gonna um pack this stuff up and I'm probably gonna head over to UPS if not now then maybe within an hour or so but I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get tackled right now I have my rug for my bathroom in the dryer and I need to put a load of clothes in the washing machine but I have the, the machine being sanitized right now so I'll get started with that in a little bit so I made it back from Walmart and I'm going to just show you guys what I purchased from there real quick. I did a real quick mini haul. So this is what I got. I picked up some of these cupcake holders. Um, they were basically about $1.49 I believe and they also had them for $0.97. Cents. And then I'm going to be changing out everybody's toothbrushes. So I definitely got a pack of those. And I needed a new wide tooth comb. So I got that. And then of course some Dove soap. Um, some new pot scrubbers or sponges and then these candles smell really great they had quite a few different scents there and I picked up these two because I needed some candles and then also I got some air freshener and mouthwash for Mason and then some mouthwash for us and then I'm going to be refilling my soap in the bathrooms and I needed some more Lysol wipes toilet tissue and some pretty flowers to add to my hurricane and then peanuts and then some other things here. I'm going to just show you guys. Some of the stuff I got is because I'm going to be making um, two different meals. So I needed the biscuits and the cheeses and the hash browns to add to those meals. The yogurt was running low so I picked up another little pack of the Yo Crunch. They love that. And then also I picked up some shrimp because I was going to be making some shrimp alfredo. And then you guys will see in a minute, I also picked up some um, almond flour because I'm going to be trying out some keto pancakes for Jay. But also I just wanted to use to um, help with making a little bit more healthier type snacks and stuff like that around the house. Basically went to the store to pick up the items I needed for my recipe, but I also needed to restock up on the kids' snacks. So I'm just showing you guys some of the snacks that I picked up for them to add back to their, um, you know, their snack pile. On to the bathroom. This is what the bathroom is looking like. And you guys know I like to show you a little before. So we're definitely going to be doing a lot of tackling and picking up in here. It definitely needs it. But before I get more into that, I want to let you know it is a collab with Gretchen from Beautiful Mess. So I'm going to let her go ahead and introduce herself to you. Hey guys, my name is Gretchen from Beautiful Mess. And I am a wife. I am a full-time working mom of two little ones. And over on my channel, I am sharing with you guys cleaning motivation, organizing, decluttering, seasonal clean and decorate with me's, 
and I am also in the middle of a home renovation so you're going to see a little bit of that over there as well. When you're finished watching Natasha's video, I hope that you'll head on over to my channel, check out my video, and hopefully you enjoy what you see and you'll become a part of my community. I cannot wait to see you there. See you in a little bit, guys. Onto the shower frame, I'm just using some of my soft scrub and I did spray it down with some bleach. And I'm just using an old toothbrush to get out some of this grime that you see here in the frame. And this is my least favorite place to clean. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in a little bit. For me in the bathroom, although I may use some natural products, I definitely have to use bleach. Bleach is my friend. I have to clean the bathroom with bleach. I just don't feel that it's clean enough if I don't use that. Guys, I plan on bringing you another organization video in here soon. I have some items that I wanted to get from under the counters and to just, you know, straighten things up a little bit better. So look out for that video in the future.
Now that the tub is finished, I'm going to get the Lysol, sorry, the Clorox gel, and I'm going to add that to the toilet and let that sit for a few moments. And then I will take a Lysol wipe and you guys are going to see me go around the walls, the doors and the handles and just wipe everything down. The kids are in and out of here going, you know, in the back patio. And I just wanna make sure I get rid of any type of germs or anything that's there. And I also wanna say, if you're new to my channel, my name is Natasha. I'm a full-time working mom of four and a wife. And on my channel, I bring you guys tons of cleaning motivation along with things on motherhood, lifestyle, decor, organization, plus so much more, and just sharing my day-to-day -day process of how I handle my life of being a wife and a mom. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around. I'ma go to Also a little tip, although very small, when you're changing out your garbage can, make sure you have extra bags in there for later on so you can just take out the dirty bag and just, you know, replace it with the new one without having to go collect one. It just helps things move more smoothly and helps to save time as well. This is all the trash from the bathroom and here is the after and I was going to change out the soap dispenser right there and put my other bottles in here but I'm just going to leave that there and let Zoe finish using that out and once she does that then I'll bring my glass jars back out and refill those but everything is nice and clean I need to get some more Epsom salt and some more um, bath bombs but I'll get all that stuff next time so that should be in the next video with me doing the um, storage in the bathroom but this is how everything turned out and this spray right here, you guys, is Glade Spray. It smells amazing. So definitely check it out if you never tried it before. It's a lavender and vanilla scent. It smells so good. Now that the sink is cleaned out, I wanted to get the shrimp season up and Zoe was going to help me with getting the um, pancakes together because she wanted to help me cook. So we're doing that. And I had to tell her the other day, I said, Zoe, I watched like three videos back to back and I'm seeing you in the same outfit. 
you're going to have people think I'm not buying you clothes, girl. But yeah, that's basically one of her staple pieces that she loves to wear around the house, like her house clothes. That's one that she runs to. But you guys, I do buy my child clothes. It's just something that she loves to wear. I will have the recipes linked below for you guys to reference for the Alfredo and also for the pancakes. They're very simple and easy recipes for you guys to do. And I'm sure your family will love them because mine does. Now that we're finished with all the cooking, it's time to get this kitchen tidied up. I'm going to be storing the pancakes in a Ziploc bag wrapped up in some um, paper towel. And then you guys see the pot over there with the dinner. And make sure you stay till the end so I can show you how it turned out. So I didn't realize till I was editing this that the part where I was washing the dishes didn't film everything. So I apologize for that. You guys didn't get to see me clean the sink or anything like that. But I'll definitely include that in another video to give you guys some satisfying sink cleaning for those of you guys that like to see that.
make you feeling sorry Don't you look at me like that When you break my heart like that Like you're feeling sorry Cause you're not feeling sorry Hey, hey Don't you look at me like that When you break my heart like that Like you're feeling sorry It's your own fault Now toss the soul Don't you look at me like that Walking out the door like that So since I finished wiping down the fridge with a damp rag, just getting off the fingerprints, I wanted to go through and clean all my stainless steel appliances. So right now I'm just wiping them down with the Spray Waste Stainless Steel Cleaner. This is my number one go-to product. So just to know in the comments below, let me know something else that you guys use to clean your stainless steel with. So maybe I can purchase it just to compare the two. Since I do offer cleaning, I want to see if there's another product that can go against this particular one that I use. To tell the truth No one else can see you like I do All you ever do is say how far you wanna go Baby, I can tell it's just for show Every line designed to let me know If you guys notice, I have those pictures that I got from Home Goods a while ago. I finally put them up over here on the wall. And I love the way this area looks. It's coming together. It looks really cozy and homely. And right now, I'm going to throw away the old flowers and just get the new ones placed into the um, jar. As planned. So one of my home decor ladies that I follow, I can't remember her name, she um, showed a video adding ice to the water while setting up her flower bouquet. And basically this is supposed to help your flowers last longer. I'm not sure if I seen this a while ago as well. I can't remember, but anywho, it's brand new to me at the moment. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I used this on my last set of flowers that I got and it actually really works.
that you're moving so differently Now this is all I want So if you make a move I promise I'll be there to ooh Give me a time and wait you know, I will be there before you have to wait for me Been hiding away for too long Cause all I need is something just like this In the time and place, ooh right. Give me a time and Just showing you guys really quick the salad that I paired with my um, dinner and this is what the dinner turned out and looked like it was so good and delicious you guys again remember if you're new to my channel definitely subscribe and make sure you head over and check out Gretchen's video and if you're new over there make sure you let her know that I sent you guys and I'll see you guys next time Don't tie it, is it just me who's falling?